kidding. Oh, oh, how could this happen? Yep, that's me. Sometimes you get a little too confident with what you're doing and you decide to get a little too risky with your operation. Just like someone else I know. Now let's rewind a little bit, shall we? About a year ago, we attempted to put a camera lens in resin and cut it in half. It was a lot more challenging than we thought it would be and our final result was less than desirable. So I thought it would be cute if I returned to the same project with a year's worth of experience putting things you're not supposed to in resin and did the same thing, but much better. I've learned a lot about what you should and shouldn't do, but I guess I decided to not do that. Now your job is to play close. Now your job is to play. Now your job is to play Raid Shadow Legend. Now your job is to pay close attention and see if you can spot all the things that would indicate that what I was about to do was a bad idea. You also get to watch me figure out a way to make it look like the problem almost didn't even happen. Almost. This is a Canon BC TV zoom lens. Uh, I guess that means this is how they watch TV before the year zero. So this lens is kind of a chender biscuit. Look how many things you can adjust on this camera. You can twist this part and it moves that little lens. You can twist this guy and it adjusts the zoom. You can move around a ton of other stuff. I have no idea what these do. I would love to hook it up to a camera and find out, but we don't have one. Now what did we learn from the first one? Don't use polyester resin. And we're gonna have to drill some holes in this lens. It'll also cured way too fast and so there's a bunch of air bubbles towards the top there. So we're gonna use some much slower curing resin that's supposed to be for casting. There's some nice holes in here already. It's almost like they wanted me to do this. This little piece right here adjusts, I think that's the aperture. The real question is what settings do we want this on when we encase it? I think what would be most interesting with this aperture is if I had it open just a tiny bit it just like that. Piece of dookie. You can already see some metal shavings in there. Uh, oopsie poopsies. Can't tell if I'm hitting glass right there or not. No idea how thick that front one is. Ah, uh, yeah. That is definitely glass. Okay, that was pretty good. At least it didn't break. I'm surprised how low I had to go to get into that cavity. Ah, I drilled right into a lens. Uh, we're just gonna leave it alone. Blew out most of the dust. Guess we forgot to use mold release. It, it, it was me, if you didn't guess. That is a criminally large amount of resin. Also, that is the perfect amount of resin, so I guess what I'm saying is I'm the best there ever was, and I never doubted it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. But it's gonna take, take a lot more, more than that, that to impress me. <laughs> Okay, I wanna try something that might be dumb. Because this vacuum chamber is so big, it's kinda of hard to get a really good suction on it. But I wonder if I put this in sideways, if it would work. Okay, I kinda of have to act fast because... I have to act fast because this is more resin than you're kinda of supposed to do. It's really supposed to be one inch resin. Stop that, stop it. Stop going in there. Uh, that big old fan I was on over there, and I made some dust, and it blew right into the resin. So uh, that sucks. Ah, oh, it's so close. <laughs> I decided this was easier than sitting here and trying to adjust it, and it'll make sure that the lens gets fully emptied of air. Okay, it's bubbling real good, but I think it might be solidifying, so I'm gonna turn it off before it gets too late. Uh-oh, 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 you're kidding. That solidified so fast, it was liquid. Oh.
Oh, how could this happen? I should have known that was too much resin. I'm gonna try and take these bubbles out. That is the weirdest thing I've ever felt. It was still bubbling and moving so much. I figured it was fine. Well, wasted a lot of resin and a camera lens. Uh, this is actually hilarious to me. Like the fact that I messed this up this bad it really just brings it full circle back to the original. <laughs> it's so much worse. Yikes. I'm thinking I'll let it fully cure, take it out of the mold, and then try and clean it up and retry because uh, this was a spectacular failure. Uh, it just got so hot. Like it was legitimately burning my hand when I was touching it. Prideful old me thought because, you know, the, the area around the lens isn't that much on any side, you know, at most it's a couple inches which this resin has typically handled fine before. This seemed like a really bad idea, so I figure I might as well record it. <laughs> so I removed the mold, and uh, this is our product here. Humorous, really, how bad it is. <laughs> but I'm gonna try to save it. I think I can fill in these gaps with resin, shave off, with the grinder, all of this, and then maybe pour some new resin on it. Definitely drill some more holes, and it'll just maybe look good. Okay, after boofing around for a whole day, I think it's ready. And I remade the mold. It fits nicely in there. And guess what this fits into? That's right, it fits in the small vacuum chamber. <laughs> All right, we got this resin mixed up. We're gonna do our initial pour. We're not gonna do a ton. Sorry. We're just gonna do a little and kind of try and get it across the surface and see how transparent it is. Uh. All right, mixed up a little more, gonna add that. Usually not the best idea, but uh, YOLO. This video has officially broken the record for cutting me the most times with a whopping four times so far. Okay, this is the moment of truth. We find out if it really got good resin coverage. It did it. Okay. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, amazing. Wow. There's a few voids to fill, but... You got a decent amount in there. Yeah, we got all the lenses in what, place. What's that shad right there? That is, uh, Shadri, Shadri's shad. Scooby Snack shad. You didn't get one big void right there around this lens. Yeah. You got this one spot on, though. Like, look yeah, at that dang. beautiful cross-sections. And just so everyone knows, we did a progression, so it's like... It actually got skinnier towards the end and thicker towards this side. Got the whole back lens on this one. Yeah. Let's do another slice and we'll have all of it. Ooh. Ooh. That looks, oh look at, Ooh. fill them voids bro. The claw. The claw. <laughs> That's really pretty. It's interesting, you can see where there's no resin, where there's these gaps. The jet spreads out more, so it's more jagged of a cut at the bottom. So right here is where the resin was bubbling when it hardened. Oh yeah. And then this is cut almost directly through the middle of the back piece. So that's like a perfect cross section of that lens. But look how cool that aluminum chassis looks. This will definitely be going up on the wall. Right next to my, the zap pack.
Okay, I'm going to call it quits here. This is not too shabby if you consider where we started off. You can see a lot of the holes I drilled right here. That could be because I used different resins, <coughs> but also there's only so many times you can drill a hole in resin and have it look decent. And uh, I think we exceeded that. Legend.